Hey, how's it going everybody? AJ here and welcome back to another LSPDFR video and in this video guys we are doing something a little bit different. Um, I know you're probably like, wait a minute, something is so unusual. You're doing a Silver Auto Patrol. Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> no, the, the truth is guys is I'm, I'm back from um, whatever I had to do. I'm sorry if I was gone for such a long while, but I'm back. Um, and I thought on return, I kind of wanted to do, uh, some different things. You know, I've been kind of kicking it in LCPDFR MP, but in terms of LSPDFR, I wanted to do something more, um, fictional, you can say. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of the non-fictional departments, you know, the real life ones, and there's kind of a time where I wanted to just, you know, kind of do something with something like this you know this is pretty cool um so i thought why not do a silver auto patrol i'm pretty sure many of you guys will like this um i think i asked a lot of people in a stream if they'd like to, uh, if they'd like to see this and a lot of you i think said yeah when i had asked or uh, whoever was there in the stream i forgot whom but i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who said yes to this but anyhow we are here in a silver auto today uh this silver auto is made by rogue thunder um he also has another truck that looks like this except it's uh, a Dodge Ram. Um, both his Ram and his Silverado will be linked in the description below. It is on Modification Universe. And as always, if you guys do like the video, make sure you guys hit your boy up with a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, I'll go ahead and show off the lighting, which actually looks pretty unique and neat as well. Uh, one thing I should showcase is that there's an extra component here for those who are familiar with extras. We got these little fire extinguishers, uh, two of them on the back here, right above the bed and the cover, which is cool. Um, I'll go ahead and show off the lighting really quick. We got a Liberty package over here with some other uh, small little lighting here. So it's the stage one, which is the um, TA at the back, which actually is pretty neat. I like the way how that looks. We got stage two, which turns on part of the lighting. You can see it turns on the edge of the Liberty there. And then stage three, which is my custom pattern, which if you'd like to see it, I'll open my uh, panel. There is the... There's the lighting, man. It looks pretty cool with the light pattern that I chose. I forgot which one Rogue had, but it went pretty fast. Um, but here's my lighting pattern if you want to use it. Uh, the warning is the uh, pattern 48. The primaries are the... Oh, I didn't even realize it was six. Okay. So yeah, primaries are 6 and secondaries are 29. So it's 48 for the warning, 6 for the primary, and 29 for the secondary lighting. So that's about it. And I'm sorry if I sound a little bit um, kind of like <laughs> so uh, monotone right now. It's because I, I just woke up a little while ago. So I wanted to record a video in the morning. I figured it'd be kind of good, you know, get some sleep and not record it in the middle of the night where I'm uh, kind of tired and... I sound all stupid and everything, but anyways, we'll head on patrol here, and uh, I really hope you guys do enjoy this one. I would like to do more of these, you know, these would be kind of cool, just kind of kick it with some, um, what do you say, like, I mean, this is lore friendly, but that's not the word I'm looking for, more like fictional type of stuff, or something different than just doing like a Vic all the time, or a Charger all the time, or a utility, you know, this is kind of something cool, it's different, you don't see this a lot, right? And I'm pretty sure you guys are always looking for something new on the channel, right? I sent a lot of you saying you're looking for something new, but that's about it. Um, this doesn't have any radars or anything like that, so we can't run radar with this thing. But we can. We do. I do have a lidar gun, so we'll run some lidar along the way if we if we can. Uh, we'll mostly be hanging around near the Alamo Sea, Stab City area, and the Chiliads, where we're kind of, I guess, kind of meant to be. And Harmony. 81, I'll be around that way. Right, so we got Copy an, that. Uh, Moving right now. Roger. Alright, so we got an officer who is in uh, need of assistance right now in a traffic stop, so we're just on our way there. It's on the US Route 68. We're actually right. We're actually about to arrive right now. Alright, 81, I'll be ATL. Show me 10 to later. Hey, 
Hey man, how's it going? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, alright. Alright. Yeah, definitely. Alright, man, what'd you think? Oh, there is? Okay. I can do that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go for it. Oh, so he'll check the plate details and everything. Howdy, partner. How's it going? Alright, man. Can I just have you step out of the vehicle? Yeah. Just uh, take the key out the ignition, put it in the center console, don't reach for anything else. Just step out slowly for me if you could. We'll talk about it outside. Hold on a sec! Oh my goodness, that's not what I want to do. Alright, man. Real quick, before we kind of do anything as we're out here, do you have anything illegal need that you know about? Any guns, pocket knives, anything like that, man? You're harmless? Alright. Mind if I just pat you down? Alright. Just turn around for me. We just make sure we got nothing on you just for my safety and yours and this other officer here, okay? I'll tell you what's going on in just a minute. Oh, alright man, well I'm glad I patch it, patted you down, I didn't want this on you, okay? We're just gonna put this on the hood and everything? Sounds good? Alright man, just follow me this way. Alright man, so my colleague thinks that, um, my colleague does smell an odor of alcohol, okay? And, uh, he believes, he has reasonable, um, or he has reason to believe that you're under the influence right now, um, because of your driving patterns, which is why he had stopped you. Um... At the moment, uh, I kind of do see you a little bit slumped. I mean, you look like you're just kind of limping forward. Um, the way you're walking is a bit weird. So we're just going to run a few tests, a few exercises, just to make sure that you're, uh, you know, make sure you're safe to drive and everything. Make sure you're sobered up. Or if you are sober, just to see if you are. Okay? Hello. So if we can just run those few exercises, that'd be great. Uh, first thing we're going to do is do a walk and turn test. All right? So pretty much you're just going to put your uh, left foot out front on this line and then you're going to put your um, right foot right in front of it. Alright, so heel to toe. And then you're going to go walk um, nine steps forward, turn around, and then walk nine steps backwards on this line, okay? Yep, right on this line. If you could just do that for me, that'd be great, okay? Heel to toe. Thanks. That'd be great. Oh, you're not even on the line. Yeah, he's way off the line. You're, on, you're not even on the line, man. Okay, so we can take him in for DUI at this point. Alright, buddy, turn around for me. You are going down. Put your hands behind your back. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code 4. No further units required. Alright, right now, man, you're being arrested for uh, suspicion of DUI, okay? Uh, do you have any warrants out for your arrest? Alright. 81, can we get a 2729 check? I'm going to 11015 right now. It's going to be for uh, a Kong Lee. Kong Lee, common spelling, 34 1992. Yeah, you know, it'd be great if that one deputy could turn his siren off. That, that would be so wonderful. Uh, his license is valid. He's got no warrants. Right now, man, this is not ideal for you. This is not good, okay? Um, He's the primary officer, so we're going to put him in the back of his car. Dispatch calling unit 8. I haven't seen the back of this deputy's car. We have a stolen police vehicle in Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, man. Um, yeah, he's he's under the influence. I'll just check his car and I'll let you know what it, anything comes back with. So, watch your feet, man. I only want to leave because he has his siren on, but I want to make sure I can clear out. Clear, uh, clear up the scene for him. So we're gonna go ahead and do just that. There we go. Okay. So we're going to search his car and everything. He's got no warrants, which is good. Good for him, right? We'll see if he's got any alcohol containers in here, any drugs, maybe. Oh no, he's good. He's got a receipt from J.C. Penney's. He's got a bag of groceries, a soccer ball, a couple of Tim Hortons gift cards, which is good. 
Alright, and then uh, I'm pretty sure he ran the plate. So he's probably doing all that. You ran the plate and it's good? Okay, that's good. I'll, I'll get a tow to. I'll get a flatbed out here to take it out. 81, can you start me a flatbed, 51? Dispatch calling unit 8, Ocean 1. Citizens report a suspicious vehicle on Route right. 68. Cool, we're gonna start a uh, tow truck. I'm sorry for the siren, guys. There's, there's not much I can control in this scenario here with the siren. Copy but dispatch. We'll be out of here in no time, so don't worry about that. Alright. We'll let him know we're good to go. Hey man, the tow, the flatbed got the vehicle, so you're good to go, man. Uh, you can take him in. I put him in the back of your car, so stay safe, man. His siren is so annoying. In case you're wondering what siren this is, this is the uh, PA300. It's a, one of the new ones that came out. I believe it's by Baker X Goody, I believe. Something, something like that. I'll link in the description below, I always link my sirens, so if you guys always want to check it out, make sure you do. But uh, we'll be on out of there, and we'll be 10-8. Count 81, show me by 10-8, and we'll be code 4 one 10, 15 in custody. Alright, great. Um, I was just running some property checks earlier, uh, not a lot going on in the morning, which is, uh, I guess, pretty good for everyone, right? Um... I ran some LiDAR over here on this Joshua Road, and people were going at around 50, which was pretty good. I haven't checked this property, but the gates are closed, so no point in doing that. guys made a few turns without signaling. I usually don't make a big deal about it if there's no one else around um, when it comes to stuff like this because it's, so, it's such a small thing if people are not around. But I'll run his tag. If he's got nothing on him, we'll, we'll let him go. But if he does, then I'll pull him over whatever he's got on him. Suspect license plate 40 George Tom oh, Tom okay. 638. A traffic violation. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. He was getting a little feisty trying to get away from me. Alright, we'll go and stop him in just a minute. No registration and the owner's license is expired. It belongs to a Jack Hill. County 81 traffic. I'm gonna have a traffic stop on East Marina Drive right now. Uh, with a black Seminole. License plate's gonna be 40 George Tom Tom 638. Uh, only occupied once, no additional, show me 1019. Alright, we'll see what's going on. Oh, sweet, we got an additional waiting box. Oh, shit! 81, shots fired, shots fired! Oh my god, watch! Holy shit, that scared me. Alright. 81 shots fired. I am 10-4. I am 10-4. I've been hit in the vest a couple of times, and I got a, I got a bullet to, uh, bullet to my chest. Uh, if you can go ahead and roll fire in EMS. You can have him roll in co uh, code three and code two. No freaking way. Right. That's required. Have units roll Uh, Marina Drive. Listen, man, if you can hear me, don't move, okay? Don't reach for nothing else. Don't reach for nothing else, man. Alright, he's dead on the wheel, probably. Right, out of the car you go. Alright, we can start medics this way now. I got your cover. I'm good. Just was surprising. Attention all units. Medical aid requested on 
Marina Drive. Officers report an injured civilian. Dispatch units from, um, Sandy Shores. Respond code 3. Alright, we're gonna try to give him some medical attention. Hello. Fire truck in route. Responding code 3. Ambulance is responding code 3. Well, that is not what I expected. But, um, I guess that's what happens when you're right near the car. Maybe you can do some traffic control, it'd be great. Hey, Turnburgers, let's go! <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, he's good, wow. Wow. I am really surprised. Thanks. Unbelievable! You know, um, I'd love to pat him down and everything like that before we take him to this ambulance here. Just to see if he's got any other guns on him, but... Uh... I don't want to mess up the script. Because my plugins have been crashing way too much lately. I'm not on 0.4.2, just so everyone knows. I, I, I don't want to go on it just yet. But, um, when I'm ready, I'll go. Oh, Alright, he's loaded onto the stretcher, which is good. Oh, he got the wound to the neck. I told you. I told you. Alright. Didn't even give me any medical attention. Wow. Alright, um... Okay, we'll go ahead and search the car and everything. And make sure there's nothing else in here, and then we'll call, uh, we'll call a wrecker for this thing. Or just a flatbed, really. A pair of sandals and a prosthetic arm. Okay. All I was just gonna get him for was no registration and... Whoever the owner was, Jack Hill had an expired license. I don't know if that was Jack Hilda, so to speak, but who knows? All right, so we'll get a flatbed for this, and Marina Drive. It's gonna try to head over to the uh, nearest sheriff station and try to get some aid, at least, or write my report and whatever. All right, great. Um, if any of you know how to make that flatbed have its light bar on for add-on vehicles make sh if you guys could tell me that'd be great in the comment section I've been trying to make that work with um, this is like an add-on flatbed right uh, and this lights up I believe this is by Thero I think that's how you say his name it's a pretty nice truck uh, that LED board lights up and same with this one or this light bar they're all supposed to light up but it's not been working though which I'm not sure why there's a car variations which I did put in for that, the whole line, but it's not, yeah, it's still not working. I think the only thing in the car variations that he put was just adding the light settings and the siren settings. I appreciate the help, thank you so much, guys. Hi. Pussy. Oh, wow. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright. Alright, so we're all good. Um wrote the report and everything so we're just gonna head back to our truck and we'll be on our way man now in real life uh, this patrol here would have probably discontinued probably wouldn't continue just like that but um, well you know handing in the weapon and everything you know that's would have been done in real life uh, the whole scene and whole body cams would be investigated dash cams well do I have one no I don't think I have a dash cam no, I don't. But my body cam would be um, looked at, you know, looked into, and um, you know, a, f a full investigation would start for this. But this being LSPDFR, and this being the fact that I do have to get a video recorder before I head to work, uh, I just wanted to get that done. But um, I hope many of you are enjoying so far. I hope the patrol is not too calm. I mean, it's not calm, but uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's too relaxing. You know, like, even my voice is too soothing and too relaxing for this kind of patrol. Um, it's just, you know, I like calm patrols like this a lot of the time. Um, where... Did that bike just pass me? I didn't even see him. Oh my goodness, that was close. But, uh, I like patrols like these, you know, especially with a different truck. It makes it... Or a different kind of vehicle. It makes it more... Much more entertaining, you know? Um, and it more, makes it a little more enjoyable, like, you know, you're not patrolling in the typical Crown Vic or Utility. Um, not that they're bad, it's just like, it's something 
the vehicle base is something different, you know. I like kind of, like, it's just kind of cool. Like, I've never patrolled. I don't think I've ever done a Silverado patrol or a truck kind of patrol. Even in my old RCMP videos, I don't think I ever did one. So this is kind of new to me, and it's cool. I even thought about turning on the snow effect to make all the snow kind of go on the mountains and all that, and I would just go up the mountains and check out, see what people are doing. But it's July, and I don't think people want to see snow. Uh, and I think everyone would agree with that. What the hell just happened to that? All right. But uh, we'll be back 10-8. Like I said, we're just looping through the whole Alamo Sea area. Um, I even I thought I even said I would land up in or end up in Sandy Shores eventually, which I did. And now I'm in Grapeseed. Um, just kind of circle around the entire sea and make sure no one's doing anything bad. Make sure no one's drowning on this nice summer morning. And uh, happy belated July 4th to you all. I'm sorry if I hadn't had the chance to wish you all that on YouTube. I think I did on Discord, but I hope many of you enjoyed your July 4th. I did. Well, not really. July 4th. I had to study, but for my, for my final on the 5th. But uh, before that, I had a good time. And this guy here is just, just kind of in and out. Swerving in. We'll run his plate really quick. 6-1 Edward Young William 944. Target vehicle license plate. Six one Edward Young William nine four four no ten ninety nine. Eighty one ten sixty one. Uh, we're gonna be on uh, Seaview Road, just past the Grapeseed uh, Avenue intersection. Gonna be out with a uh, gray Sadler uh, license plate. It's gonna be San Andreas six one Edward Young William nine four four. Uh, possible ten fifty five for an occupied one time. Uh, can you start me one additional this way? Alright. We'll go ahead and get an additional started this way. Um, because of the fact that we probably do have a 1055 here, which means a uh, possible intoxicated driver. So we'll start one. Backup needed on uh, Sea View Road. Can I keep my bed your way? Uh, wearing a red shirt. I love this truck, honestly. I would recommend you guys download this. If you want to download a Silverado, this is pretty nice. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any other person upload a truck this year, but this is pretty cool. And if you want to download that Dodge Ram, that will also be linked. Hey, howdy. Um, I got this guy who's probably intoxicated. He's just kind of swerving in and out of his lane. Good morning, how we doing? I'm Deputy Diaz here at the Sheriff's Office. The reason I got you stopped, ma'am, uh, or man, sorry about that, is, uh, you're kind of swerving in and out of your lane. You smell that too? Okay, man. Um, one thing I do notice is, uh, I do smell a mix of, like, some alcohol and narcotics, okay? Have you been, uh, taking anything in the past few hours or so? Any drugs, maybe? You have? Well, I appreciate your honesty, man. Hey, you know what? I, I really appreciate the honesty, okay? Have you been drinking as well? You swear to drunk you're not God. Well, you definitely are not God. Uh, you have anything illegal in the car that I should know about? Guns, pocket knives, bazookas, anything, man? None of my business? Alright. And, uh, one last thing is, can I get your license, insurance, and registration? Let's see some ID, huh? You have that on you, right? Thanks. Alright. He is indeed the registered owner. Alright, all right, man, just uh, step out of the car if you could. Step out the truck. Yeah, leave everything behind. Just put the car in park if it's not. Alright, just step out for me. Alright, man, you're a little tipsy, aren't you? You're kind of leaning forward a bit. How much have you had to drink? Can I talk to you? Why is stop the pet not even working? There we go. Dick. Or is it? No. That's like the last thing I want you to do. There we go. We'll just do this. I think it's because that's uh, open the rear door kind of thing is just kind of getting in the way. Wait right. a sec, buddy. There we go. That's working. All right, you're a little too close. Um, how much have you had to drink? All right, I'm just saying because I do smell alcohol on you. All right, from your breath and in the car, um, and your your speech is kind of slurred as well. Um, have you been? How much? What, what kind of drugs have you been taking? Oh, you have left. Okay. 
And what do you have on you? Do you have anything on you? You totally forgot. Okay, man, just turn around. I'm just gonna go ahead and... I'm just gonna place you in cuffs. Now. You're not being arrested. You're just being detained. Alright, we just want to figure out what's going on. Just we'll make sure everything's alright. Okay. And, uh, just all that kind of good stuff. I'm just gonna pat you down. Just for my safety and yours and everyone else's, okay? Alright. Got a used condom. A burnt meth pipe and a rusty spoon. All right. So he's got um, he's got a meth pipe that's burnt. We'll go ahead and put that. We'll put everything on the hood there, on his hood. All right. And uh, right now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and run his name really quick, and then we'll search the car and everything. Eighty-one. Uh, I got one ten fifteen detain on out of the vehicle. Uh, can I get a twenty-seven twenty-nine check? It's gonna be for Colin Moore. Colin Moore. First name's gonna be Charles Ocean Lincoln Ida Nora. Last name's gonna be Mary Ocean Ocean Robert Edward. Date of birth's gonna be 729-1985. Alright, so he's got a valid license and he's got no warrants, which is great. Um Alright, partner, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put you um over near the side of my vehicle. Or you can have a seat in the meanwhile. Um, we are gonna search a car and everything, because at this point we do have PC, so... Go fuck yourself. <laughs> after, when we're, after we're done searching your car, we're just gonna run through a few what exercises and all that, if you have nothing bad that is, and all that good stuff, okay? Just, uh, watch your feet. Thank you. And, uh, we'll go ahead and have this deputy, maybe if he wants to talk to him, that would be great. Can can you like come over here, please? I'm about to violate someone's civil rights. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. All right. Okay, we'll just search the car. Um. There we go. We'll search the car and everything. Make sure there's not a lot of stuff in there. Oh my God, there's a lot of red. Half an empty bottle of piss wassail. Uh, marijuana cigarettes. All right, so he's got a lot of marijuana. Lots of MJ. Mary J. Stupid bitch. <laughs> he's got joints, he's got, um, baggy, right? Way, you know, you have a lot of room to go around, just saying. It's this thing called a, a, a move over law. Fuck off. Okay. You just wait until I pull you over. Alright, bottle of alcohol. He's got an open container of that. He definitely must have been Fuck drinking. Okay, man. I I I'm trying. Believe me, I'm trying to make this guy move. Okay. Damn. All right, we'll go ahead and have a word with him really quick about what he's got. All right, man. I found some uh, joints and a little bit of Mary J in your vehicle. Okay. I also found an open bottle of Pisswasser. All right. It's Pisswasser bottle. So I mean. I appreciate you being honest. You could have told me you had something to drink. And I I told you I'm pretty sure I'd have figured that out eventually, okay? Listen, why don't we go ahead and step just kinda of step out of the vehicle? Fuck your mother. A lot of the dialogue, goodness, people are so violent today. Alright man, let's go to um You know, I would say let's use a breathalyzer, but uh chances of me having that mm, slim to none. There we go. Just wanted to close my door. All right, man. So right now we're gonna run a couple of exercises to see if you are sober. Okay. Hello. Just determine your sobriety right now. So right now we're gonna try our first test, which is a walk and turn test. All right. It's part of the field sobriety test. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you walk along this line. All right. You're gonna walk nine steps forward, and you're gonna turn around and walk nine steps backward. Um, and you're gonna do it from heel to toe, all right? Heel to toe means you put your left foot kind of just in the middle and then you put your right foot right in front of it and make sure that your uh, right foot's heel is touching your left foot's toes, okay? So that's what you gotta do. Um, so if you can just do that for me, that'd be great, okay? Just go ahead and do it along this line. Hopefully it's kind of straight enough. And uh, yeah, you're nowhere near on the line. Then again, it could just been me uh, misguiding him, but uh, you know, you never know. 
All right, yeah, he's a bit unsteady. All right, man, you can turn back around for me and put your hands behind your back. All right, man, right now you're going to be uh, arrested for um, DUI and, and possession of an open alcohol container, okay? I would charge him for the marijuana, but it's it's honestly not that big of a deal to me. I mean, pretty sure this guy, he, he, he seemed to be the most cooperative kind of person today. Um... At least in my books, he was pretty cooperative with me, and uh, don't think he deserves a marijuana charge. Uh, marijuana at the moment is, I mean, if you have like very little of it, you usually get a citation for it, which I think that's what I might do at most. That's about it. I'm not going to put him in jail for it. So, we're going right as a rest report, and then we'll be out of here. Sorry if I'm cutting in and out between the vehicles, it's just that there's so much going on. And uh, these guys won't move over. So like, it's kind of silly I have to go into my passenger side and just kind of get in the car like that. But, you know, GTA 5 AI. And this guy just likes to sit in the middle of the road. You know what? Uh, you might as well just leave. I am the police. Alright, man. You can go. You're good to go. Thanks for the help. Wasn't very helpful, but, uh, you know. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, we'll go ahead and write his arrest report and everything like that. All that good stuff. And, uh. There we go. He's uh, calling more. Alright, he's never been arrested before. So, this will probably be his first arrest. Um. Or, unless if he did have one with these citations. Nope, he didn't. Okay, good. Um. Alright, so let's see. So, he's got a DUI charge. Uh, where is it? It's, um... Well, we don't know how much suspicion to do. Why, there we go. Forgot that was there. And, uh, he's gonna get the possession of an open alcohol container. Surprised I don't have that here. I don't think I put it in my, uh, little, uh, list. So I'll probably have to do that sometime soon. Maybe. Yep, I might have to. Alright, well, no problem. I mean, we don't have it here, but, uh... Oh, goodness, we don't have it here, but... At least we know that what we're charging him with. I'll try to fix that little list the next time. Or for the next time. Come on, man. You had more than enough room, and you're telling me... Really? Leave. It's time to go. Thank you. All right. Okay, and we'll take him to jail ourselves. Um, I'm on my way back to the station anyway, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and call a flatbed for this thing, and we'll get this out of here. 81, I got one. 1015, right now. Um, ready for custody. Uh, if you can start me a flatbed on a CV road, uh, for this Saddler, I'll be 106, uh, occupied and transporting. Flatbed. Assistance required in grapeseed. Alright, and the flatbed has the uh, the vehicle. We're just going to go ahead and make a U-turn and proceed to uh, the Sandy Shores um, station. And uh, we'll be on our way there. But um, I think that's going to be it, guys. I do have to head out. Um, I hope many of you did enjoy this video. I know it's a little bit different than what you kind of usually see on the channel. Uh, so, thank you all so much for watching this one. Um, if you'd like to see more, like, you know, different kinds of cars, you know, like, I mean, nothing like a race car. I, I used to do that back then in, like, 2014. Um, but if you'd like to see something like this where I'm kind of using, like, different cars, like, maybe I can try to use an 06 Tahoe. Like, um, I know I did the MP video and a lot of you like the... Uh, Tahoe that I use from the Snowdell pack, which is really cool. Um, which I might use it again in an MP video, but um, if you'd like to see like something like that in LSPDFR where I'm using like an older version of a Tahoe, or uh, maybe we can do an unmarked patrol, just something different to stir things up. You know, I'm not always doing a marked CBPI unit from, I don't know, Buffalo, New York, or I don't know, New York City PD and 
the, the Salinas and all that. You know, all that um, non-fictional departments. This guy's driving at like prudent speed. Uh, this is this is so unlawful, but I need to go. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see more things like that, just let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'd like to also thank you all so much for 9,800 subscribers. We are literally less than 200 away till uh, 10,000, uh, which I'm really excited for. Honestly, I, I I'm kind of surprised we've hit that number in just a short amount of time, um, because when I went on my little uh, I have to go study thing, uh, I think we are at like 9,000. 600 something and then I look at it like I look at it recently and we're at like 9,800 so thank you all so much for that I really do appreciate it welcome everyone to the channel I hope you know all the new people I hope you've been enjoying the content um, if you'd like to see something just let me know in the comments um, oh god I'm sorry uh, like I said just try to see if we can suggest something that's maybe on the website or something that's like this like a Silverado that you don't usually see often or a Tahoe um, you know, that's actually good. But, uh, yeah, so, we'll go and, uh, call for a detention officer to get him. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be about it. Um, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button so you don't miss a video. Uh, YouTube's notifications have been really weird. I know some of you have been, haven't been getting notified. I found out why. Uh, someone told me, um, one of the friends of my group, uh, who, I mean, he's coming back to modeling pretty soon, but he's currently on his break, but... He, um, he told me that YouTube has been changing up their notifications recently. Uh, so, if you don't have that bell button on, I don't know if you'll be getting notifications or not. I think I think if you hit the bell button, they should give it to you. So, make sure you hit the bell button. That way, you're always early to videos. Um, if you are usually early to videos and all that, and you watch them pretty early, and you know you, you know, point out some stuff that are pretty hilarious, or you thought that was pretty cool, you usually get some roles in my Discord. Um, there's like... Uh, I think four sets of supporter roles, like there's one called first class supporters, uh, second class supporter, third class supporter, and then uh, the whole you're kind of getting their thing, that's kind of what that's for, so you know, just kind of um, join my discord and if you're usually early to videos and you kind of watch it, you know, you point out some stuff that's cool and all that, then you usually get some roles or if you're always in the live streams, which I'll try to do a live stream maybe this weekend, upcoming weekend, but uh, you know, all that good stuff. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. No more me of, no more me of rambling and all that. Um, hit the like button and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching guys.